Okay, so let's build our own templates from scratch. So I've got a brand new slide here, new slideshow. So the first thing we go to is view the slide master. And you'll notice I have a slide master here, very large slide at the top, and a number of slides already appearing here with different layouts, different formats. That's great, but we really only want to use a couple of those. Um, now, if I apply anything in the slide master itself, it is going to reflect that in all of these slide layouts. Let me give you an example. If I uh, choose a box here, a rectangular shape here, and draw that out here, notice how that appeared in all slides. Now, sometimes that's handy, sometimes it's not, because often we want a different front slide to the other slides. We want different layouts uh, for different purposes. However, when it comes to things like maybe font styles, um, those can be handy because if I change it in the master style, it will just to make this a bit smaller. If I change this here, I'm going to change this to Vedana as well and make that a little bit smaller. What happens now, I change that in this master slide here and it is also changed it in all of the other layouts. See how the font is now Vedana? If I go down here, we have Vedana, we have Verdana all the way through the presentation. So that's actually quite handy to know. What I'm going to do is make two slides. This one here, which is going to be our front page slide, and this one here, which I'm going to use for our normal slide. So let's make our front page first. Okay, first of all, um, I don't think I need headers and footers on this slide, so I'll just delete those anyway, take those out of there. And I uh, want to create some colored boxes. So I go back to my home tab here and I go to this rectangular shape here, click on that and I'm going to draw out a rectangular shape here. Now that uh, my default here is a nice blue, if it, if it wasn't, if it was a different colour, I could simply change that to whatever colour I wanted. So that's my first outline, uh, first shape, and in terms of the outline, I don't want any outline around that box itself. Let's make another box here, um, something like this. There we go, and we'll make that a lighter colour, maybe something like, like that, and again we don't want any outline. So there we go, we'll just take the outline off, no outline. Okay, so that's my general colour blocking completed. Now what's happened though is this block has covered up my text, and I really need to see the text so that I can uh, work on my layout, so I'm going to go to Arrange and go down to uh, send to back. Okay, so we'll send that to the back and now sitting on top of that is my text. I can see that quite clearly. Now on this section here I actually want the title to be white so I'm going to go to my colors here, my text colors and change that to white and I like a bit of shadow on my key text so that looks nice, makes it stand out. On this one here I might make that text black, that gray isn't showing up very well and again, I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow to that to make that stand out. Okay, that looks fine for the moment. Now, we also had a box here for our customer logo, so that was about that big, something like that. And that was a white color, so let's make that a white. And under shape effects, I'm going to go down here and add a little bit of shadow, just a little bit of shadow down to the right. So there's my shadow. Um, in terms of the outline, again, I don't want any outline, so I'll take that off. But now I'm covering up my text, so now it gives me a chance to line up my text, so it's around about the middle. Move that across to about so. And in terms of this one here, I want to make sure this is centered. Um, sometimes it's hard to line things up in the center, so what I do here is if I stretch it right across on both sides and make sure that this is centered, it's not going to the left or to the right, it's actually centered, then my text will be perfectly centered. Okay, well that looks pretty good so far. We want to insert our logo, so I'm going to insert a picture. I go in here to uh, my, I had done down here, my logo here, there it is, and I'm going to drag that up to the top here and just grab the corner and make it a little bit smaller. I don't want my logo to overpower the customer logo, so I'm going to make that just a nice size, there like so. Okay, that's my master, so let's take a look at that. Okay, 
So if I close that master box and go back to my slide, here's the first slide of my presentation. Now I'm going to make this to Hewlett Packard. Like so. It looks very smart. And this is like so that's the title of my presentation and I want to insert a picture I'll just go back to a different folder here again back to my logos I've got a Hewlett Packard logo here and that's a bit big so I'll just drag that down here to a reasonable size and pop that in like so Maybe make it a bit bigger till we're happy with uh, with that like so beautiful okay that's our first uh, master completed and we've just completed our first slide.